All right, guys. So it's rather hunting tomorrow. Um, we finally started seeing some activity, low in terrain again. Uh, we had a lot of activity during the summer, and up until actually three hours before the opening day. Um, and since then, we haven't seen a single deer down in terrain. Uh, we decided to push up into the mountain where we have spotted several deers. There's a group of fawns, does, and spikes. Uh, there's also a couple of stags lurking about. The only issue is that they uh, show up about 100 to 300 meters outside of a terrain, so we can't shoot them. Uh, we've stayed several weekends up there, uh, trying our best. Uh, just packing light. It's been, as I said, it's been nice weather, so we haven't brought in a tent or anything. We've just been sleeping under the skies, uh, just hoping for some of them to show up inside the terrain, which they haven't. But we've finally started seeing some action low in terrain. Uh, so me and a buddy of mine, he's out hunting roe there now. Um, I just got home from work, so I'm just preparing my rifle, packing all my stuff, and we're heading out tomorrow morning. Uh, so it's going to be quite intense. We're just going to get down there. It's a three and a half hour drive from me. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty much just going to push straight out into the terrain. Hey! Hey! <laughs> that says everything. Um, I just shot my first time I shoot a double. Uh, all of a sudden, I look up and I see the back of a big uh, red deer. And, uh, and I see it's a hind, and I see he has his, his, yeah, she has her calf with her, and uh, the calf presents so perfectly. I take the shot, I get this nice notch up here, and uh, and uh, I'm shaking. <laughs> and the calf, no, the hind only ran like the calf dropped like straight away, and the hind ran like 20 meters to the left and stopped behind a tree, of course, and then ran again. And you hear me trying to stop him, stop her several times, but then she's like, she's, she doesn't know what, what hit them. So she comes closer and turns around and I take a slight frontal shot, but I hit on the right side. It should be a good good shot. Um, yeah, they're both down. I don't know if you can see the hind on the camera. Um, she started walking back in again, but we'll see. Right now, I'm just going to... Get down from here and go up and just check that everything is okay. Um, 
there's no movement, they're all, they all just drop down, so the hind kicked a little bit, but whew, freaking awesome. I let my new rifle as well, my crest, amazing spot. So, I'm pretty sure they're both dead. There's been no movement. I've got my backup rifle ready, my short barrel B14 Extreme Hunter. So, I see one of them at least. My buddy, he's further down. And he says there's something moving around close to him as well, so... I'm kind of stuck alone with these two animals right now. It's gonna be a lot of work getting them down, but... That's just part of the game. Whew. to remember exactly where I see one of them. I think that's the hind. <sighs> All right. Let's put the camera down just in case. So I just checked that both of them are dead. Uh, this is all good. Um, the hind is just here. I'm gonna go up and grab the, the calf and get her down here as well. And then I gotta start working. My buddy, he's pretty sure there's something at the edge of where he's sitting. Um, so he's just gonna continue sitting there. And uh, so yeah, I got some work cut out for me. I need to pull them down, get them ready. It's quite, quite far down as well or far enough. I mean, it's too dear, so I need to pull down, so. But, there's the calf.
All right, so I'm just gonna call it a day now. Both of the deer are gutted and ready to be dragged down. First, I need to carry my equipment down. Uh, my buddy is still on post because uh, he still believes there are some things that are going to show up. But I have a feeling he just doesn't want to do the heavy duty work and drag these two down. <laughs> right now, if I go up to his place, I'll probably hear snoring because uh, he's tired. He was out hunting last night, like almost all night, and shot a roe there. So he's probably asleep now with Kira. She's there with him. Um, so yeah, I just gotta hold my gear down and go back up for the uh, hind first. Always take the heavy one first and then come back for the calf. Almost feels like I can carry him down, so might make it easier, but we'll see. That's it for tonight, guys. Time to get to work. See ya.